Welcome to your Las Vegas weekend forecast for the weekend of October 16th. I'm Ace. And I'm Amanda. Thank you for tuning in to 2DN News, where we focus on events, news, and things to do in Las Vegas. This week's episode includes breaking news, Spotlight Locals Casino of the Week, your weekend weather forecast by a new correspondent, and another installment of Two Doves Eat. Before we get started with this weekend's breaking news, if you enjoy Vegas as much as we do, subscribe, like, and comment on our video. Don't forget to join our Las Vegas group called Las Vegas to the End on Facebook. Let's go to Amanda for this weekend's breaking news. Take it away, Amanda. Las Vegas police make 80 plus arrests on strip between Friday and Saturday and blame the crime spike on cheap hotel rates. The Clark County Sheriff said cheap accommodations are partly responsible for the spike in crime as visitors flock to the city where COVID-19 restrictions have tamped down on the usual nightlife. Weeknight hotel bookings are as low as 73 per night on the strip and as low as $50 per night downtown. Due to the rising crime on the strip since reopening, Cosmopolitan implements new safety procedures for anyone entering the resort. New procedures include restricting resort entry and exits, metal detectors, and cursory bag searches. All oversized alcoholic beverages or glass containers must be disposed of or consumed before entering the resort. Encore at Wynn Las Vegas changes operating hours due to low demand. Beginning this weekend, Encore will operate on a five-day, four-night schedule with guests checking in at 2 p.m. Thursday and checking out no later than noon on Mondays. All other amenities, including restaurants, will operate during Encore's revised business hours Thursday through Sunday. For other strip news, Caesars sells its Bali's brand. Industry watchers say the move could be a sign that Caesars is willing to sell. As part of the deal, Caesars will have a perpetual license to maintain use of the Bali's brand at its strip hotel casino. Crews reach critical milestone on MSG Sphere project in Las Vegas. MSG Sphere at the Venetian is a sphere-shaped music and entertainment arena being built that will have a capacity of 17,500 seats and will feature LED screens inside and outside the venue. Construction crews erected two 240 steel girders that will span the length of the venue's eventual stage. These girders will now be filled with concrete providing support needed for the superstructure and also helps bear the weight of the venue's 13,000 ton steel dome. Based on the company's new schedule, they now expect the MSG Sphere to be completed in 2023. Las Vegas Loop Underground Transportation System undergoing review for expansion. Elon Musk Boring Company submitted its special use permit application to the City of Las Vegas. Proposed as a transportation solution to reduce congestion on the Strip Corridor, the Vegas Loop will consist of underground tunnels connecting downtown Las Vegas, the Strip Corridor, and reaching as far south as Allegiant Stadium. I like what they're doing on the Strip with security and Cosmo is doing a good job with trying to curb down the violence and I like the, where the future is going with the Strip. I like the idea of having this transportation system. But for now, let's go to our new correspondent, Bingo Betty, our gaming and slot expert, for the weekend weather forecast. Oh, I guess I need to look into that thing, huh? I'm Bingo Betty. I'd rather be playing bingo than doing this crap. Thanks, Asian sensation. But we're going to be doing the weather today. All right. Well, not the weather today, but the weather for the weekend. All right, Friday, we're gonna have high of 86 and a low of 61. Make sure you bring your sweater, ladies, because it gets cold at night. On Saturday, we're gonna have a high of 91 and a low of 61. On Sunday, we're gonna have a high of 90 and a low of 62. Now, I know the Asian sensation, what's his name? Ace or whatever. He says, you know, may the cards be ever in your favor and all that stuff. Yahtzee or bingo. Let's get it going. 
Remember to drink some water. Your skin needs it. Bingo! Yahtzee! I think we got ourselves a winner. <laughs> Let's go see where Amanda's hanging out for the local spotlight casino of the week. This is Amanda with 2DN News with your local spotlight casino of the week, Santa Fe Station. The Santa Fe was opened on February 1991 with slot machines, table games, a poker room, sports book, bingo hall, 200 room hotel, 60 lane bowling alley, and an ice rink. In June 2000, Station Casinos announced plans to purchase the Santa Fe for $205 million and renamed it Santa Fe Station. In 2003, renovations converted the ice rink to a 16-screen movie theater. Santa Fe Station is located on North Rancho Drive. This was Santa Fe Station, your local spotlight casino of the week. Let's head back to the studio. I really enjoyed Santa Fe Station. I, I think it's underrated. I actually like it. I give it two thumbs up. It's pretty nice over there. It's pretty nice and for I was expecting it to be a little bit more run down for the side of town that it's on, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's super nice in inside. It almost feels like Green Valley Ranch to me. Yeah. It's time for the lock of a week. Our current score is one win, two losses, and two pushes. Last week, the Seattle Seahawks won, but didn't cover the spread. This week's pick is the Cincinnati Bengals against the Colts. We're taking the underdogs with plus seven and a half. Lock it in. Don't mmm bangos. Better do me a solid. <laughs> Let's take a look at another dining option, downtown with two dub eat. Therapy is a restaurant, bar, and lounge located at 518 Fremont Street. As we walked in, we were greeted by this lovely lady and seated immediately. After scanning the QR code to download the menu, we ordered some adult beverages. Ace ordered the Brussels sprouts from the happy hour menu, and I think that was our favorite dish by far out of the three that we ordered. The pig wings, or pork shanks, looked very delicious, but were a little tough going down. The nachos looked amazing, but after a few bites, we realized the cheese sauce was making everything super soggy. Therapy for us was just okay. I think we went during the happy hour. Maybe next time, if we ever try it again, maybe try the regular menu. Yes. A little disappointed with the happy hour menu. We were like one of the only customers in, th in there. And happy hour wasn't quite so happy because all their taps were down. But... He did recommend a good beer, the Blanco. The waiter did give a good recommendation for a beer and gave it to me at a happy hour price. It was a bottle beer, but it was delicious. I did mm, enjoy yeah. it. Don't take our words for it. Go out and try it yourself. That's why we do these videos for you to experience it for yourself. But to have a little idea or a general idea of what to expect. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ace. And I'm Amanda. Until we meet again, keep the dice rolling and the drink flowing. Keep soaring to the end. Out. You guys still here? Awesome. Thanks for watching your video. How about trying these videos out? <laughs>